I wanted a quick way to test Commodore 64 power supplies, so I made this device. It measures the voltage on the power supply's output before and after applying 1 amp of load. Hello and welcome to the chicken farm. The C64 power supply supplies two kinds of voltages, 9 volts AC and 5 volts DC. A properly working PSU should output as close as possible to 5 volts on the DC rail while the AC rail has quite a bit more wiggle room. It's not uncommon to see voltages ranging all the way from 8 to 11 or even more volts AC. To accommodate for that, the power meter 64000 has four analog gauges. The top row is AC, the left one for voltage and the right one for amperage, and the bottom row is DC. Because I used two gauges that I had laying around and bought the other two online, aesthetically it turned out a bit of a mishmash. And also the first AC gauge that I had installed only went to 10 volts, which I guess was not enough because after the second plug-in it went up in smoke. But never mind that, let's get right to it and test a few PSUs. The first one is from the C64C series. Switch it on. Idle voltage is looking good. Apply the loads, AC, DC. All the voltages under load look good, so this PSU is in good working order. The next one is a dodgy one that came with a C64G. If I had measured this PSU with only a multimeter, I'd have thought it good, because the idle voltages all look fine. But applying the loads, we see the issue, the DC voltage is too low. While it's true that the lowest operating voltage for the C64 chips is around 4.5 volts, trying this PSU on a couple of C64s. This, for example, is a C64C running at 4.22 volts and seems to be working fine. This other one is a Breadbean C64. The voltage here is even lower, only 4.05 volts. The board in this one has more hungry chips. As a side effect, I did hear some random crackling noises coming out of the speakers. But still, for this short test, they both worked fine. Even though I wouldn't want to use this PSU for extended sessions, that's just asking for trouble. Quick comparison, this is the voltage as it should be, 5.05 volts. Next. This is one from the Breadbean series. Its DC rail even deteriorated while I was filming. It used to be above 3, then 2.4, then 1, now it's what? 0.6? And uh, completely dead if a uh, load is applied. If I can get the resin out, this one will be first in line for a modern modification. Let's try one of the new aftermarket ones and see how this one performs. Power on. Apply the loads, DC looks good, however the AC line drops a fair bit. Now the AC voltage is still plenty enough to convert it to the needed DC voltages as we can see here. So uh, no complaints. I managed to find another one. This is another C64G variant. Power on, apply the loads. Not perfect, but appears to be in a good enough working condition. And this is the way the device looks on the inside. The loads are sized so that there is approximately an ampere of load on each rail. So 4 ohms on the 5 volt DC line and 10 ohms for the 9 volts AC line. In this instance as well, I had one laying around and then just bought the other one online. The wiring diagram is very simple, the voltmeters in parallel with the power supply's respective outputs. Following that, ammeters with their loads, toggled on off by their switches and that's it. A super simple DIY project. This device allows me to effortlessly test a power supply when a new 64 comes in. That's it for this short video, thanks for watching, goodbye from the chicken farm and I'll see you in the next one.